servant of the Lord is his mouthpiece and his servant he, he take from the Lord and bestow mm -hmm. where the Lord wanted to be. Amen? Mm -hmm. So in the Lord, uh, each one of you, you must understand this process for God, one of you, your representative of God. Mm -hmm. And as Sister Jane said, many of you remember the story, Jesus and the Samaritan woman at the well, John chapter 4. Mm -hmm. Remember the conversation, the Jews are not confused with this. The Jews are never confused in this. We, the Gentile world, because we didn't grow up with God that way, we are confused. And she goes, um, you know, um, you Jews said you have to go up to Jerusalem to worship. Now, if you know Jerusalem, where the temple was, is where Abraham, had, um, God had told Abraham, bring Isaac to Mount Moriah to sacrifice your son. Yeah. Abraham couldn't sacrifice his son any in any way. God said, bring him to the mountain that mm -hmm. I will show you where to do it. Mm -hmm. The mountain was Mount Moriah. Mm -hmm. It is exactly there the temple is built on Mount Moriah. Mm -hmm. So to worship, everyone had to go to Mount Moriah. Mm -hmm. So and then Jing was talking about this. Why many of us don't experience God? Because you don't understand where God is. It is mm -hmm. true God is with you. But never mix up this weirdness where you go to worship him. Mm -hmm. You must understand this. And where he is worshipped, not in the building, it's where the body, where two or three get together. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping at some point I'll share a process of worship to you, how that will work and so forth, if God allows it. Amen. So you must be very clear with this. When you want to worship, you two or three of you must come together and agree with it. You will find God. That God will show up and He will show up in a strong and a huge way. Mm -hmm. Amen? And so forth. So the Israelites knew this. If they want to worship, and so it will be in the kingdom age, everyone will have to go to Jerusalem to worship. Everybody will have to go to Mount Moriah. So the Samaritan said, well, you Jews said worship here, and our father said, our forefathers said worship, where should it be, etc. And the principle, as Sister Jing was, put, was pointing out just now, that is so important, is this principle. You know, where is God? Where do you worship God? Yes, He's in you, it's true. But where should you worship Him? Worship Him, you understand, in the body of Christ. They used to go to the temple, now He's in the church. Now he's in the church. Welcome, princess. Hello. Didn't know you're in town. Welcome. In Jesus' How are you? name. Excellent. Excellent. Amen. So we get a wonderful chance this morning because the body of Christ have come together. The Bible teaches us in Ephesians 1 8, the church is God's glorious inheritance. How are you as glorious inheritance? Do we know how that works? Meaning you, you know, he inherit that which gives him what? Glory. It is the song we are about to sing. The song, Hebrew, um, Ephesians 1, 8 says, You are God, glorious inheritance. You are the inheritance that give God glory. Amen. You are the inheritance. We, the body of Christ, the church, through all the realms, is what God inherited, his potion, Amen. that gives him glory. Amen. Amen. And the enemy fight to no end to make sure you give God no glory. glory. So there are two principles I want, I want to say as we get into worship this morning. I want to usher you into worship but along with the minister this morning. Just um, standing with her, or, you know. And as usual, I love what the Spirit I The Lord did not um, tell me to discuss it, but she's, as usual, what the Spirit is fellowship and she is in that. And he wouldn't do it no other way. Because he wanted to give him exactly what, what he had advice of worship. He doesn't do anything without telling his prophecy. He'll let me know what he's doing with her at the same time. Amen. And what he's saying, where you ought to worship is where the body comes to get them. It's why Jesus says, often as you come together, remember him, not you. Yes. As often as you come together, he said, remember me. That is what communion is. Yes. Communion is for you to forget you and remember Amen. God Amen. in the name of Jesus. Yes. So, so you, you see this principle of they have to come you understand, to Mount Moriah, to worship God. Mm -hmm. And so it shall be in the millennial age. Mm -hmm. But I want to show you an attitude too, and this is an extreme one. When you come to Mount Moriah, you come to the body of Christ, you come to where two or three are gathered as a result of his name. You understand? And I'll show you a principle that's supposed to happen. Those that doesn't like the body, you understand, of Christ, they, they can't worship God. You can't get to the place where worship is taking place. They might praise him, but you can't worship him. Just mm. because you understand? As I said, I don't have enough time, but I'm doing testimony, I'm going to share, share a process with you. Amen. That is required. Even when God wanted to transfer the power from Moses on the 72, he said, tell them to gather at the foot of the mountain. Mm. Come to the place of what? Worship. This is where I'm going to do it. God is not a random chaotic God. Mm -hmm. 
the body has to always give testimony for what's going what on because everything has to be established by two or three witnesses. Mm -hmm. God doesn't raise up individual. Mm -hmm. God gives individual gifts for specific things, always for the body, as you'll see. Mm -hmm. It's never for you. Mm -hmm. It's never for you. So one principle, remember, the way to worship him, you must come in the body. Mm -hmm. Understand, if you want to learn to worship, find the body of Christ. Does this make sense? Amen. And this is the second principle. In second, in second um, Samuel verse, I want you to watch. Uh, tell me if you see the principle. Second Samuel chapter twelve verse twenty. God tell David because David did a terrible sin with Bathsheba, killed Uriah to get his wife, and God tell him I'm going to kill your son just like you killed the man. Mm -hmm. Now David is lamenting. He's lying on the floor. He's fasting. He's not changing his clothes. He has, he, he, has, he has dust upon him, and he, he's hoping to move God's heart, to get, heart, get God's hands to move off, you know, so that God's hand will not stay, so um, God will forgive him and let the boy live. Anyhow, I want to show you, watch the principle of David. I want you to know when you get in the body of Christ what you ought to do. If you, I don't care what's going on in your life. If you want to see a change in your life, you must learn the secret of worship. If you want to see a significant change, or you want God to work in your life, you the inheritance, God inherit you. You understand? Jesus paid a price for what? The Bible said to inherit the saints, mm -hmm. to give God glory. glory. Amen. God wanted something, he wanted back his children, Amen. but he had to pay for them. Mm -hmm. so the, and as a result, he got, when, you, when you go to a car dealer, you pay, you get the car. Mm -hmm. The Bible said God get the saints which become the inheritance, you understand? Jesus. To give him glory. So he expect from his church glory. This is what he purchased. You understand? But you got to know how to do it and where to do it. Both is important. You understand? That same John 4, we, I can't touch that today. We'll, I, I, I believe at some point, I promise you, God will I'll teach you worship. You understand? Because he goes, the time has come for you to stop worshiping him, you understand? As a fleshy being, and you must learn to worship him in spirit. You can't Amen. touch that today. That's a whole different story. And truth. And truth. You need to know both. You need to know how to touch him in spirit. And you need to know how to touch him in truth, the right place. Mm. Amen? Mm. Where is that? And Jane touched the truth this morning. You have to worship it at Mount Moriah, where the body is. Mm. Where the body is, yeah, two or three. Now watch this principle. Tell me if you see this principle. So David had been fasting and begging God for days and not eating, trying to get God to change his voice. And, and, and 2 Samuel 12, 19 and 20 read, But when David saw that his servant whispered, he perceived that the child was dead. So he said to them, Is the child dead? And they said, He is. So for seven days or so, he's lying on the floor begging God, praying that he did. Now pay close attention to what he does next. Now we know the child is dead. Verse 20, Then David arose from the floor and washed, anointed himself, changes, changes apparel, his clothes, and went into the house of the Lord and worshipped. So seven days he'd be lying, right? He get up, changed, anointed himself, and went straight to God. This is the same God who was punishing him because he did something wrong, but look how he responds to God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Then he came, amen, to his own house, and when he asked, amen, and when he asked, they set food before him, and he ate. So he got up, Clean up, anointed, and go on. What is the principle? Seven days he hasn't eaten, he hasn't done nothing. His son just dead. You understand? He's been begging God to let his son live. He's hungry. He has many other things to do. But what is the principle in verse 20? He put on the clothes of worship. Mm -hmm. Praise and worship. To worship God. Um, he ate like it was like almost communion, I guess. Because he was eating. Eat after. Washed himself. Would that be the word of God? No, he just cleaned with water. He just washed himself, cleaned, cleaned, remembered with when he when the Jewish um, fast and stuff, they put dust on their head and they put on sackcloth and they lie on the floor. So you're lying in the same clothes, rolling around in dust and sand, he's dirty and he's weak and, and etc. You know, so that is his state. Amen. Sure. In the name of the Lord we pray. Yes. So always worship. Yes. yes. In, in David, perfect. What David did, and you're right. What David did, the first concern once he get up, I must go worship 
God. Not to go eat, not to go to his house, not to get upset with God take his son. Whether God give it or God take it, one thing that is on David's mind all the time, to worship God. Same is true. Yes, we were created to what? Worship God. The reason God purchased you, I'm sorry, it isn't because you're so cute. <laughs> God purchased you because you, 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 you understand? You can't worship Him. And this is why He gets very upset when you're worshiping any other thing. He goes, I am the one created you for worship. I'm the one purchased you for worship. So He must be clear on what He wants, and then He must be clear where He wants it. Notice what David didn't go in his house to worship. The Bible said David went into the house of the Lord to worship him. This is the principle Sister Jane is talking about. Find where two or three gather. If I, I, I commune a lot, and I read a lot, and I do a lot of things. But you ask my wife, even when, if, when, if I go to a place, let's say I go to a new city, and I want to praise God, you know what I find? I find the closest church close by. That's where they worship, and I will gather with them, because I know you'll be in the body. It's not, it's not he's with me, but I know where he likes to be worshipped. Mm -hmm. David went into the house of the Lord to worship it. Do you understand? I, if I go to a strange town and I plan to worship, one of the first things I do when I land, where is the closest church? Where is Bethel? Where, <laughs> where the body is, I know I can worship. Amen. So David cleaned up himself to appear to the Lord stately, anointed himself, and went to the house of the Lord to worship. But his son had just died. Notice this. When you want to feel better, you want to get healthy, you want your situation, you want your finance change, you want your health change, you want your marriage change, whatsoever, get to the house of the Lord and worship. Amen. This is the principle. Get to the place where God ordained. You understand? When the new kingdom come, it shall be Jerusalem, and you worship. Can the Bible say all that didn't come to worship will be cut off? No rain for them. Do you understand this process? Get to the house. Many of you are trying to solve your problem and you're using all kind of craziness. I am telling you, God knows your heart. You, the inheritance of God, get to the house of God and worship. If you catch this principle, you will never miss opportunities to be in the presence of God to worship. You, you understand this? David didn't go to his house first. He didn't eat first. You understand? Though he's... He lost in his child. He said, yet I will go to the house of the Lord to Amen. worship. Yes. Can we worship him this morning? Yes. Can yes. we worship yes. him? Yes. We I, I, so I take our we worship must. minister yes. as the, the perfect way for his glory. Because you the inheritance, you are inherited and a church and a people because of his glory. Can we be, you know, Amen. Deep. we know David, the book of Psalms is the biggest book in the Bible. One, because David had a heart. God himself decreed David had a heart. David looked for every way to worship yes, God. <laughs> and he find every way to. Whether his son dying or his son not die dying. Whether his son trying to take away his throne or not. He's always looking for an opportunity to what? Worship. Yes. Many of you are going through many things this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And there are many things you need to solve and answer and fix. I am telling you, worship is the answer. Worship is the answer like David. David needed to be strengthened and, you understand, and to know God is still with him and so forth. Are you listening to me? I'm hoping, don't just show up to church. Come to worship. And if they ask you why you come, say, I am the inheritance that brings forth glory. Hallelujah. Do you understand? When the enemy asks, why are you going to church? Say, I am the inheritance to bring God's glory. You must be clear on what you are. You are the inheritance. Jesus died to purchase you to give God glory. So when someone goes, what are you doing? Say, leave me alone. Let me give my father his glory. Glory. I want to say something. Whoa. This morning, I, a problem just escalated my home Amen. with my sons. Amen. I was ready. I was getting ready. And I said, um, no. Thank you, Lord. And it's looking bad. Thank you. Thank you. And I said, no. I'm going. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, the enemy, Satan understand this. I'm Satan will God to one glory, but Satan one glory too. <laughs> Satan will do everything in his power to stop you, the inheritance, you, the church, from giving God glory. Are you listening to me? 
All you need to know, where's the truth? Where, Lord, where do you want me to do glory? Mm. Abraham cannot sacrifice his son no other place but Mount Moriah. The Jews could not worship any. If not, God said, you are cut off. He said, if you don't come, you see, there's a mystery, church. The place where he wants you is where he abides. Are you listening to me? It's where his glory dwell. It's the container. The temple was the place that contained God. Now you are the living temple, and God said, the temple must come together, you understand, to bind me in the midst to worship me. Are you listening to me? I, it, it is funny. This, this is the truth. I'll give you a true testimony. I typically, God, I, God seems to bless me with sight. Except when I'm in communion, I can, the, the heavens opens to me and I can see God. If you ever watch, I can be talking. Soon as Jing starts worship or you guys start worship, a lot of time I switch into speaking in tongues because instantly the heavens open. But it doesn't open naturally, it doesn't. When I'm driving in the car or just at work, it doesn't open. But soon, I must say, I'm not even planning. Mm. You understand? <coughs> Perfect. Today I'm planning, I'll try to take it easy. It's family day. Soon as the worship starts, God goes, that's your plan. I just feel like God goes, I'm ready to receive my worship. <laughs> and the, the heavens just open, which puts me into reverence immediately. Amen. Amen. But it always happens when I come in the body. Amen. It's outside of the body. It, it does, when I'm driving, Why? I think the heavens don't open. Yeah. When I'm just at home, just, it doesn't open. But soon as the body come together, yep. whether I'm intended to seek him or not, <laughs> the, the, the thrones appear before me. You understand this person? You are the inheritance church. If David can worship after his son died, I know you have challenges. But I'm telling you, you can worship God today. Yeah. Tell somebody they can worship God today. Worship Tell somebody they have to worship God to solve their challenge. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? We're going to talk a little bit more about this later on. And if God allows it, He has to decide. There will be some teaching on this to make you, you are, in truth you are, but to bring it to light that how to be true worshipers. The way of worship, which is in the body, and we must worship God to solve our challenges. Is yes. Amen. Amen. The first thing, you understand? In spite of what they, they would get to the house of God, he, got, he didn't eat it, he didn't see it my wife. The first thing I must do is give God his word. I know. Come here. Oh, she's up. She'll be a worshiper. The first, the, the first thing our mama and papa was teaching before she even get us out of tell me is how to worship God. It's how to worship God. God needs praise. You, you, you want to see Jane get mad on top of, you know, when she prepares your husband or probably somebody bothering her? Let her don't get to worship. There's something in her telling her the way why she's an inheritance of the Lord is to worship. And for those of you who haven't catch the spirit, it's just tell me your soulish life has not been broken yet. Because if your soulish life is broken, you'll find the house of the Lord. You won't be happy when you're missing worship. But when your soul, and that does tell me you don't know the cross. Because you can't worship outside of the cross. The cross is supposed to destroy your natural life to make you a worshiper. Amen. But until you touch the cross, you will not become a worshiper. Mm. At best you can be is a praiser. Meaning when God gives you something, you're saying thanks. Mm. But you don't know how to worship. The cross breaks your natural life. To see God, life is far more important. Mm. You understand? Those who touch by the cross understand worship. Hallelujah. Yes, man.